have a PK Ditto. Well, not really a Ditto. We have Ness and Lucas, um, which I'm so excited for. I'm not sure if you know this, but Ness is the coolest character in the game, and Lucas is definitely up there, which is actually incredible. Going to be starting off on Smashville in this matchup. Ness is the aggressor, has to play a lot out of shield, sort of, um, you know, really break the space against Lucas a lot. Nice read on the air dodge down in second place, able to get a second down throw. Right now, Crash has to find a way to get back onto the stage and uses the Zero as a means of landing on top of Ness. Uh, overcommitted to the yo-yo, tries to go through something a little fishy though, he tries to interrupt the Zero halfway through, um, was not able to find it though, gets the magnet but not able to fully convert that into the upper, not enough frame advantage on Lucas um, from the second or third hit. Ah, this is the coolest matchup in the game, I just love, love watching this, but playing it de definitely does not feel good, oh he is super dead, without a doubt, his angle, oh, Oh, buddy, you're really gonna have to dry your shapes a little bit better. Get that protractor out. That's a double up here. Is he gonna go through a PK Thunder? He is not. Normally, on uh, Ness mains, they like try to extend that a little bit with PK Thunder, but Lucas, of course, having an absorbing tool, um, you know, always has to be really, really mindful of that. Able to actually bounce past the yo-yo hits and still snap onto the ledge. Very fortunate for Crash, though. Nice use of the PK Fire to push him out and still be able to get back onto the stage. Hmm, uh, sort of playing a little bit too much in his head there, tries to go through those double jump cancel magnets off the platforms on Smashville, but just sort of let Crash get back to stage as a result. And that fail is going to be able to take it, Crash, you know, finally back a little bit in this, but honestly this is such an explosive matchup. Either player could get an edge guard at any moment. Look at that wait from, uh, he wanted to wait out the magnet, he wanted to force Crash to dip really, really deep. But Crash did not take the bait. Ah, uh, missing the punish on the down smash. Not even a get up attack, no drop down up hairs or anything. Just totally lets him get away with it. And now he just took so much percent from missing that punish. You can't let Lucas get away with missing that down smash. You can, you can, you can smack him for it. Good patience on the platform. Just waiting ever so slightly in the shield. Understanding that Lucas can't do a whole lot of shield pressure. Um, when somebody's above him. Good use of the PK fire actually to catch a landing. He wasn't anticipating the Zero. Anyways, ooh, that's a nasty position to be in, and that's gonna be the shield breaker. And that is going to be the stock crash roll. You could have just gotten hit. You could have dropped your shield, buddy. If you if you dropped your shield, you've just eaten the up smash hit and you wouldn't have died. That is the coolest shield breaker setup though, when somebody's at like 90% plus and they get hit by it, it's absolutely hilarious. God I love Ness. Ness is such a cool character. His up smash uh like shield break setup is fantastic. However, I do believe um quite like Corlin's up um excuse me, Corlin's F Smash, you could uh implement shield DI. So if you correctly uh shield SDI. So if you correctly like input a couple of like tilt shield inputs, you might be able to cross up Ness. Um, I've seen, I've definitely seen it happen before. But honestly, that entire situation was totally avoidable for Crash. He should have just let himself get hit, and he would have lived to see another day. Very, very unfortunate. Um, stock loss there, but nicely played from, uh, by the way, did I mention that Ness is the coolest character in the game? I actually think this character is so sick. I love the down tilts into up smash, man. That was kind of pog. That was, that was actually not even just kind of pog. That was absolutely pog. Ah, Ness's down tilt is such a good move. I just love smacking out somebody's shield. There's nothing they can do about it. By the way, did I mention I really like Ness? N not, not sure if I did yet. So yeah, for game two, I kind of disagree with Crash's stage choice of going to something as small and tight as Smashville. Um, as Lucas, you kind of want to be creating a lot of space around Ness, um, and then sort of landing on his shield. Um, but with Smashville, like, you really don't have that kind of room to just sort of run around him. That being said, Kalos, completely the opposite of Smashville. Very wide, lots of space, nice and flat. No, like, prevailing platforms up above. Gets the double neutral. I like the fact that he went for the double jump now, just in case uh, Crash had decided to shield there, because had that been the falling now, that would have been very unsafe, and Crash could have unleashed a massive punish. That was a really, really good forward there, but uh, not going to go for any more edge guard or ledge trap attempts there, just sort of going to let Crash get right back on. Nice weight on the platform, Crash prepared himself for the tech in, uh, but didn't do anything to cover the tech out. Hmm, only gonna get snagged by the charge hit of the up smash. Gonna be able to successfully find the two frame. Not gonna be able to kill though. Up smash, you know, pops him up, right? It's only gonna kill at about 120 plus, 130 plus. 
uh, down smash definitely would have been the move of choice. Ooh, gonna be landing back onto the stage and no punish coming from Crush. Gets the grounded spike, no follow up is what I would say. Able to get the down tilt into the grab. Really, really good damage from coming from Crush. He's already looking so much more confident right now. Not able to capitalize on a landing. He burned his double jump, he faded back. Crush could have reacted and punished. And this time successfully stuffing out the Zero using his neutral and very nicely played from up. Goes through the F throw immediately instead of the down throw. Just wants to get stage control. And honestly, like I feel like both of the PSI kids, they do such an amazing job of um, edge guarding each other. Like as soon as you throw somebody off stage, you could take the stock from any point, quite literally. Right? Stuff out of the massive double jump with any of the active multi hits, you know, go for the PK Thunder Gimps. Um, you know, there's a whole lot that you can do there. Not even gonna go for the stall, but Crash finally taking the first stock with the forward air. Uh, buffered an option a little bit too early. Disagree with that PK Thunder choice. Honestly, that PK Thunder in this matchup is only really, really good for either gimping the uppies, um, or, you know, forcing a low recovery. And in that case, it was definitely suboptimal for sure. It could also it could also be used to like sort of interrupt Lucas' zero if you space your tail hit correctly. So definitely a little bit questionable from a uh, nice catch on the jump. Is he gonna be able to get the edge guard right now? Just waiting and shield a little bit. That was such a hasty get up attack from Crash, honestly. He just she just went right for it. Um definitely really really disagree with it. It seemed like he was almost nervous getting back onto the stage, and he didn't properly time his uh, get-up option. By the way, this is one of the coolest matchups in the game. I love this. Boink! <laughs> Sound effect is just impeccable. Yeah, he tried to be really, really aggressive there. I love that empty full hop in. Couldn't just get hit by that returning up smash hit. Crash was not ready for it at all. Just kind of stood there and said, hit me. Do it! You won't. Ooh, that's a sweet spot, PK Fire. He could have gotten a much bigger punish from that. Um, he might have been able to get an F smash from that as well. But you know what? He goes for the old reliable, super active order. Totally respectable. He doesn't need to overextend. He has the lead right now. Boink! Yeah, I mean, having access to so many kill throws as Lucas is always going to be fantastic because it's so difficult to react in time. You have three separate kill throws, man. That's tough. Like, like, what is he supposed to do to that? Nice way to get back onto the stage, though, from the charging up smash. I feel like uh could be spacing these up smashes a little bit better. Um, normally, like, you'd have them droop off of the ledge a little bit because with up smash particularly, um, you'd get hit by a charge hit if it's on stage and then you'd immediately fall out of it, right? Um, but if you're uh, drooping it off stage ever so slightly, you might be able to get it con to confirm into itself. Waiting on the platform, good coverage with the down smash, very nice, long and active hitbox. And that is most definitely going to be it. Uh, taking it with a very, very confident 2 Oh, Gosh, I love Ness. I think Ness is so sick. I think Lucas kind of pogs as well. Ah, amazing. Incredible. That being said, I do hope everybody in uh, in chat is having a phenomenal evening. And if you don't feel not, you know, I promise it's gonna get better eventually. You know, everything has its ups and downs. I will